Hello everyone, um, Alex Milway here once again to talk to you a bit about books and to draw some characters and sing a song. I know. Um, this video is all about one of my favourite characters um, that I've created. Uh, it comes from this book, Hotel La Flamingo. And uh, the character we're going to be drawing today is Madame Le Pig. So let's crack on. So the piece I want to read to you today comes quite early on in the book and uh, is in fact chapter five. And uh, at this point, Anna has interviewed for all the new staff places and she's picked her team and we're about to meet them for the very first time. Welcome to Hotel Flamingo, said Anna, addressing her new staff in the lobby with a broad smile on her face. This is the sunniest hotel on Animal Boulevard and it is your job to keep the sun shining. Lemmy appeared carrying uniforms for everyone. He handed them out, trying very hard to match each animal with their correct shape and size of outfit. Good to have you all on the team, he said happily, with his tail raised high. Lemmy was quickly getting back into the swing of things, and the excitement of the day had more than made up for the past three years of silence. He was feeling like a new lemur again. As for T-Bear, he was standing proudly alongside his working revolving door. Meeting and greeting guests was what he cared most about, and he found it impossible to shake the smile from his face. Everything was going to plan, thought Anna, but she hadn't quite bargained on Madame Le Pig. Sir, where's my kitchen? demanded the chef, stamping her trotters. I have an amazing menu to create. Everyone started to quiver. Her snore was that scary. Uh, over there, said Anna, pointing. I will say this only once, added Madame Le Pig, stomping off. Do not disturb me when I am cooking. Excuse me, uh, can I go and stand in the lift, asked Squeak, trembling. Squeak loved peace and quiet, which is why a job in the lift was his perfect career. And he wanted to be as far away from Madame Le Pig as any mouse could be. Anna understood completely. Of course, she said. Hilary Hippo was caught mid-sneeze and growing redder by the second... Are you all right, Hilary? asked Anna. In this uh, uh, terrible, uh, uh, true, dirty room, sneezed Hilary. What do you mean, dirty? said Anna. Well, can't you see the dust? said Hilary. She sneezed loudly once more. It's everywhere. If there was anything that got on Hilary's nerves, it was dirt. The faintest speck of mud on a carpet. Well, Hilary could smell it. An old cobweb dangling from a light bulb. Hilary could hear it swinging in the breeze. Where is the vacuum cleaner? Hilary said in between bouts of sneezing. I can't stand it any more. Hurry, before I die. Anna was dismayed at the thought she'd done a bad job of cleaning the lobby. However, this was exactly the attitude she wanted in her staff. Perfection. She pointed to a store cupboard and Hilary got to work. Uh, would anyone like a glass of sparkling water? Asked Eva Koala, who had already begun her job too. Nothing fazed Eva, not even the temper of Madame Le Pig. A juice? Or maybe some raw nuts? Water, thanks, said Anna, incredibly pleased to find that Eva had taken the initiative to get started. She reached for a glass and took a gulp. Enjoy, said Eva, bouncing off to the restaurant. You want next for me, then? asked Stella, waving a hammer. What are all these maintenance problems you've got? We'll have to give them a good look over. Anna was almost lost for words. The staff had taken to their roles with such enthusiasm. Oh, I, I mean, I have a long list, said Anna. But first of all, the outside could do with a lick of paint. I know the perfect colour, the bright blue of the sea. Stella rubbed her hooves together. Right you are, she said. T-Bear walked over to Anna and placed his large paw on her shoulder. You've brought the sunshine back to our hotel, he said, smiling. Now I just need to bring guests, said Anna. Right then. So shall we get on with the drawing? Have you all got your pencils and paper ready? Because um, we're going to draw Madame a Le Pig. Hello there. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do Madame a Le Pig. I should try and get out of my shadow so you can see it properly. Now, Madame Le Pig is, uh, oh, as you've learned probably from the reading, is really shouty and screamy and really angry. So we're going to try and make her really angry and excitable and probably a little bit scary. Um, to start off with as well, she's uh, just like all my other characters. So if you've seen my other videos, you will know that a lot of my characters start as fried eggs. So 
that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to draw another fried egg to start with. Here we go. So let's start off here. Draw a lovely big circle because Madame Le Pig, her head is pretty much a circle. Now, if I go a bit too quickly here, you can always pause it and uh, slow down and go a bit slower and then start again. Okay, so big circle, fried egg again, remember? So we need to put in the yolk. Yeah. And now, as you can probably already see, if you remember what Madame Le Pig looks like, um, we've pretty much got her head sorted out. So we need two nostrils, because she's a pig, so give her a pig nose, just like that. Now, next up, I do Madame Le Pig's uh, angry eyes. Now, look, angry. Mm, angry. So we do these with ticks, like this, and a back to front tick. Now, if you've ever had ticks in your school books, like that, you know how to draw them. And then we want two eyeballs, like so. Right, we've already got Angry Pig now, haven't we? And uh, let's have a mouth. Now, this is just sort of a letter, letter C, really. A curly cut, like this. Right, it doesn't matter if you go a bit out. And a few teeth to make it look really like, ah, brilliant. Okay, now a nice tip on the ears, if you want to ever draw an animal like a dog, or pigs that have floppy ears, you know, that flop over like that. Um, draw triangles floating above their head, like so. Two triangles floating. And then once you've done that, you can just draw lines down. So you get so you've got little envelopes. There we go. So we've got Madame Le Pig's ears. And now Madame Le Pig, she wears a sort of a chef's baker's hat. So let's draw that. So let's draw a line up here and a line up here. And uh, a bit of a cloud above because they have that lovely sort of poofy top. And probably a line just across here. There we are. There's her hat. And... Uh, a little squiddly cheek. So we've got Madame Le Pig's face. Right, now her body is pretty much just a sort of a long rectangle type of shape, like this. Okay, and you want to put a collar in. And uh, chef clothes have a weird flap that goes over so they don't have a join down the middle like most shirts do. So then we put some buttons on there. Look. She's got her chef's outfit on and her legs. Now, pig legs, if you remember from the previous video when I did some dino pigs, uh, just big W, so draw some long was. There you go, like that. And if you've got your big W's on, just draw a line across and she's got trousers on. And man, the pig has stripy trousers like this. Like so. Uh, next up, we're gonna wanna make her look She's waving some implement because she obviously is a chef, so she's always got whisks. Here go. And the trotters. Big W's again if you want. And uh, let's give her a spoon to waggle. Here you go, waggling wooden spoon. And maybe her as well. They're just W's look with bends in them. Grr. And always, if she's angry, I like to put some bits of like sweat flying off. Ah! And uh, there you have it, really. That's right. Get out of my kitchen. Oh. One last thing, who can guess what's missing from Madame Le Pig? What do pigs have on their bottoms? That's right. Tail, I always forget the tails. Oh, I don't know. oh look, I've just put get off. Let's put get out of my kitchen. Come on, Alex. What a mistake. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully you should all be able to draw Madame Le Pig now. Remember, fried egg, and then you're away. Okay then, so now it's time for the word search. And uh, you have 15 seconds to find the name of an animal. And uh, amongst the letters, the word can go all over the place. It's not really very complicated, but just can't go diagonal. So it might be backwards, forwards, and all over the place. And so I'm gonna give you 15 seconds. One, two, three, go.
then so the answer to the word search is coming at the end and uh, but now it's time for the Madame Le Pig song. It's what you've all been waiting for. I know, I know, I know. Um, well, I just want to thank a few people who have uh, joined in and done some drawings and sent them through to me. And so, yeah, let's thank uh, Maya, Saskia and Poppy over in Hinchley Wood. And then there is Esme and William. I think they're in Penge, but they might be in Beckenham. And then uh, there was also Hattie and Charlie Middleton. And it's, uh, it's a real privilege to have you guys watch the video and uh, join in. So yes, time for the song. You might want to cover your ears if you don't like the idea of a pig singing about herself. Um, here we go. I am a Madame Ola Pig. You don't like my attitude. You don't like my terrible mood. You don't like me. You're gonna love my wonderful food. My squid scones will please the queen. My lemon tart is the best you've seen. Petite dishes to keep you keen. When you finish, you will lick them clean. I am Madame Le Pig. I am Madame Le Pig. I am Madame Le Pig. Let me hear you say Le Pig, Le Pig. I am Madame Le Pig. Let me hear you say Le Pig, Le Pig I love my kitchen where I create A little wonder sit on a plate Special treats no one could hate I am the best, greater than great Stay away while I stir my sauce Unless you're here to mop the floors I kick you out as a matter of course and scream with unnatural force. I am Madame Le Pig. I am a Madame Le Pig. I am a Madame Le Pig. Let me hear you say Le Pig, Le Pig. I am a Madame Le Pig. I am a Madame Le Pig. I am a Madame Le Pig. Let me hear you say Le Pig, Le Pig. Now get out of my kitchen. Thank you for watching.